recently. We are going back to Japan now. <laughs> Probably Disney in Japan as well. Um, so I, I'm actually just about to get this Heathrow Express here, this Heathrow Express, uh, to Heathrow, shockingly, uh, to, uh, to go on a trip to Japan, yes! Liam and I are gonna be there for, is that my train? No, not quite. <laughs> I'm like very nervous this train is gonna go. Liam and I are gonna be there for, for 13 nights, I think, something like that, 12 or 13 nights. Uh, and we're gonna travel all the way around Japan. We're popping into Disney and we are going to uh, do a few cool things in Japan. See some temples, climb some mountains, see some cherry blossoms, that kind of thing. Um, I'm doing travel video this time. I don't usually do that. A couple of people in my channel said that they wanted to see one. So we're gonna do the magic of the travel video. First things first is we've gotta get a bus from London, which is where I live, over to Heathrow. And we're choosing to do that on the Heathrow Express. It is expensive, guys, I'll tell you. It's quick, but it's expensive. Our tickets together, I think, the two of us returned to 74 pounds. It's quite a lot of money. Um, yeah, a bit of, bit of a pain, uh, but it does get you there really, really quick from central London. So, um, so yeah, that's why we're doing that. This is gonna be a long journey. So I hope you're. I hope you're prepared. We are catching this train to Heathrow. We are catching a flight to uh, Finland. Then we're catching a flight from Finland to Tokyo. From Tokyo, we'll be catching a from the from the, the airport Narita. We'll be catching a train to um, Tokyo Station. From Tokyo Station, we're going to be, then be catching a another train to Kanazawa, which is where we're really beginning our vacation. So yeah, come along with me. I'll try to give you some tips on traveling to Japan. And uh, yeah, let's go. Stay tuned to Express TV for further information on today's journey. Thank you for traveling with Heathrow Express. This is very confusing. We're gonna go into this entrance here. Usually, I go into that entrance over there, the Virgin entrance. Um, but we're not flying Virgin today. So we're going to be flying thin air. So I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> where are we going, where are we going? B. <laughs> is it back to where the Virgin place is? <laughs> <laughs> So traveling relatively light on this trip. Uh, that case there is our medium sized case and I, ooh, there we go, carrying the little one because uh, we're going to be moving around. We're going to be doing a lot of chains on this trip so you don't want to be taking a lot of stuff. So we'll see how far we get through the vacation until I complain that I don't have enough clothes. But it's okay because you're in Japan, so just go to Uniqlo and find more. We were just in lift, so I have lift music in my head. Bye bye, little case. Both of our cases were under 15 kilograms, which means we can buy all the things. In Terminal 3, which is where we are, you check in downstairs and depart upstairs. So you check in downstairs and upstairs. That was very painless, Liam was saying. Very, very quick. Uh, there was hardly any queue there. It's like right, the thin air section is right at the back of section B. So when you get to section B, it's all American Airlines and you're like, I'm in the wrong place. You ain't in the wrong place, you're in the right place. Um, you just gotta go to the back. And they take the stairs up and then we can go through security. And I won't be showing security because they get a bit funny about that here. So, see you afterwards. Yes, thank you. Just went to Pret, got some breakfast. We've got to film it, obviously. Uh, Pret have a coconut porridge at the moment, which I must say is delicious. Um, so I had some of that with some honey. Got myself a coconut latte as well. I'm in a coconut thing at the moment. I think they're doing lots of coconut-based foods so that they can not do dairy foods. I'm not dairy intolerant or lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant. I'm not lactose intolerant. I just really like coconut. <laughs> so I'm buying all the coconut things. Um, Liam has disappeared for a little bit. I am going to go over to do a little bit of shopping in uh, Kath Kitson, which is here, and Sunglass Hut, because I do want a new pair of sunglasses. All right, let's go. I've already seen some cute bags. Oh, I can't buy bags. Oh, and giant purses. Came looking for Disney stuff, found this beautiful dress. Look at that. It's right up my street. And the bow in the middle, and it's quite long. And it's navy blue. I love it. I also love this red stuff that they're doing right now. It's pretty cool. So now I'm in Sunglass Hut, checking out these crazies. Let's try them on. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Very interesting. You can't see those babes on them. <laughs> I actually don't mind them that much. Maybe not with sunglasses on my head, so that's the same time. Oh yes, look at these. Moo Moo, Moo Moo. I love them. A bit bug eyed. <laughs> kind of funky though. Gate's been called gate number 35. I'm resisting the urge to go to the Virgin Atlantic gates, which are over that way. Just like have this general flow that I just, in this terminal, just like 
below. So I'm like drawn towards the Virgin Atlantic terminals. <laughs> I mean gates. Um, gate number 35. 35 has been called. And so we're we'll walking there now. Ooh. Got a little cafe Nero here and everything. I've already had a coffee though. And I actually want to sleep, so. You very fancy. Gates 30. To 42. God, how bloody big is this place? Well, that is pretty rocking. Oh god, more walking. I mean, this, I'm very excited about this vibe, but also we've walked very far. <laughs> You must have got about five hours since last night, right? And more like four. I got less than two. Yes. Um, we're on the plane. It's kind of fancy. Look at the things in front of us. I'll turn you around. You can see. So look at this giant screen. This is about as far back as I can bring the camera until you're like touching my face. <laughs> it's amazing, huh? Um, you got like ports for the speakers here. USB sticks. A USB slot here. Nice little tray. Liam's demonstrating. Very nice, Liam. And I actually really, really like these. They're quite wide and deep. Um, so it feels like you can get a lot in there without it squashing everything, like your laptop and all that kind of crazy stuff. I've got loads of space underneath the seat in front of me. Look, I've got two full massive bags down there. Pretty snazzy. This is the first leg of our flight. London to Helsinki. And then we go from Helsinki to Tokyo. So I'm gonna sleep this one, I think. I ain't had a lot of sleep last night. And um, I do really want to enjoy some of the flight on the next leg. So I think sleep now, we'll enjoy the next one. Is that like the plane's GoPro camera? Does it have a GoPro on its wing? What was it called? What is that thing at the back of the plane called? Not a wing. It's like a dorsal fin. It's a dorsal fin, isn't it? Oh, we're all like a celeb out on the tarmac. Oh my god. Liam, how do you feel about your celebrity status? Oh wow, the plane has spots. That's pretty cool. Wouldn't that be amazing if that's our plane? Maybe it is. The bus has just dropped us off in the terminal here and we're gonna go to this departure board to find out where our Tokyo flight is. And then we just walk to it. That's it, Tokyo. Tokyo, it's 4.45, um, 50G. 50G, this is 51C. Do we Transfer go? Transfer flights upstairs. Is, so yeah, that's the beauty of traveling thin air. I love this flight service, it's amazing. They drop you off straight in the terminal. You don't have to go through security again. You just get off. We don't have to go through security again. We just go straight to our next gate and we already have our boarding pass to get on. That's it. Uh, it is, what's the time now at the moment? Actually, it's about, we, Finland is two hours in front of us. So it's like 3.30 something? Yeah. It is 3.30. 3.30. Uh, yeah, and our plane takes off in, one, in, one, in an hour and 45 minutes. We'll be boarding in an hour probably. Um, yeah, so we've got a little bit of time to kill. We can go to the food quick. They have loads of moomin things. Of course they have loads of moomin things. Um, somebody left a comment on the channel saying that they were from Finland. Hello, I'll put your name below. Um, uh, the home of Moomin. They're so cute. Loads of Moomin stuff in Japan as well. We'll go check that out too. <gasps> Look at those woolly socks. Oh my god. Liam, they have a dime ice cream. Oh my god, they have a dime ice cream. And they have a praline magnum. Popped into a little shop to get some noms. We're getting this Carl Faser chocolate. Uh, one of my friends who travels quite a lot for work. This is his favourite chocolate in the world. He takes thin air um, if, when he goes to Japan and he always stops off at the airport and buys Carl Faser chocolate. So Andrew, I'm getting it, I'm trying it. I'm sure I've had it before. But anyway, we're doing it. This is our gate, 50G on the right hand side. Uh, it, from distance here, from being dropped off to the bus here, uh, I think it's a two to a five minute walk, like nothing. Uh, it's super awesome. Uh, there are stairs in the way though, but I think it's an accessible route because I think they have accessibility options if you need to not do stairs. Doing the tight best chocolate in the world according to Andrew. Big squares. It's good. It's really good. Do you want a bit? Do you want a whole big bit like this? Here you go. Their airport Wi-Fi is amazing. Look at this. 
and downloading the Star next Star Trek Discovery episodes I haven't seen yet. Um, just four, so I can watch them on the plane. So I get these four, and I'm just downloading them at the airport. Wi-Fi is amazing. Mm. I think I might need to spend a little bit more time in Finland. Back on a bus. Whizzing to our next plane. I don't know which one I want. I kind of want one with some funky art on it. I do not want that plane. Small planes make me very ill. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> oh. Well, we're back on a new plane again. Take another look at those fancy, fancy business class seats. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> not planned very well. Liam's going to go to sleep on this flight. And I'm going to stay awake and play Nintendo Switch. So, Liam, tell us about your Asian vegetarian special meal. Aubergine something. Spinach something? Yeah. I have no idea. Yellow lentils. Oh, lentils, nice. Go car. Yeah, I know. And you got a bread roll and a cinnamon bun to finish. Yeah. It's not too bad. I'm not veggie on this meal, so I got lamb and potatoes. Potatoes look pretty good as well. And actually, over there, this is awesome. I come with some soba. Yes, buckwheat soba. Love that. Soba sauce. And we don't know what this is. Try it by now. It's a potato salad y thing. Good morning. see a lot of it now but we're here i forget where we are there's two major airports in tokyo that you can fly into this one narita and the haneda and haneda haneda is closer to tokyo but either way you've got to get a train in i'm gonna go through immigration uh, to get through immigration you have to fill out your disembarkation card you'll need your customer form as well when you go through customs and i think they're not really massively keen on cameras there as well so i'll put you away and i'll see you in a bit was that our plane yeah. oh my god <laughs> Guys, I, we've got a little bit, I think, to get to immigration. This is one of the most amazing things about this airport. Oh, most trips have this giant window that they have here. Look at this massive walkway. I made Liam walk, walk on this bit because I want to look at this giant window. It's amazing. So that was our plane over there. Gel plane's over on that side. And you could just stare out of it. It's just so cool. Oh, my God. There was quite a long line at customs. Uh, it's cherry blossom season at the moment. There seemed a lot of flights got in, not customs, immigration. It seemed like a lot of flights got in at the same time as us. They had a two system, a two part system to the immigration this time. There was one person who was doing your fingerprint and photo, and then you'd go through to the immigration officer who was checking everything through. Not too sure I liked it. I don't actually think it was that much more efficient, really. Anyway, we're here. We're gonna go pick up our, uh, our bags at uh, B5, Kara's B5. Uh, then we are getting out of customs and we will be on to picking up all that stuff that we got to pick up at the airport. There's two major things we got to pick up at the airport. Number one is our JR Pass. Uh, we got Japan Rail Pass, so you know, pick that up. And then number two is our Wi Fi uh, device. 
So this is where we go to pick up our Wi-Fi. Liam ordered the Wi-Fi, so he's gonna do the picking up. Uh, for this trip, we've ordered our MiFi device from Ninja Wi-Fi, uh, which was recommended by Tokyo Cheapo, which is a site I absolutely love, by the way. Tokyo Cheapo is an amazing site. It's a bit of a sort of, I don't know, know your city kind of site. Uh, it's a bit like Time Out, but kind of like true to its name, kind of keeps it on the sort of cheaper side, which is awesome. Uh, so we ordered through Ninja website, Ninja Wi-Fi's website. We have to pick it up from this counter here at Narita. This is not a Ninja Wi-Fi counter, it's just a place where you sort of send and receive parcels. All okay, Liam? Yeah. Yeah. We are now at the JR East Travel Centre. I should read things before I start telling you where we are. For the JR East Travel Centre. This is on the basement level of uh, Narita Airport. But the reason why we're here is we're picking up our JR passes. Liam's got the JR pass. Where's the JR pass little voucher thing? JR pass. Um, if you come to Japan, get the JR pass. That's all I can say about it. It's amazing. Um, you can buy a JR pass for a week, two weeks, or three. I, think. I don't think you can work for any longer than that. And you can get on any JR train on, on that pass, not for free. I mean, I say it's for free, you still pay for the pass. The cost for a week is about 200 pounds. Sorry, dollars. I don't know what it'd be a dollar, 280 dollars or something like that. Uh, and for two weeks, it was 300, and it was a little over 300, 314 or something like that. And we're going to be doing a lot of travel on JR trains on this trip, and that's why we got it for so long. Uh, all the bullet trains are JR, the Narita Express from Narita is JR, um, the Yamanote line and the Chiro line around Tokyo, all JR. And the things that don't count under the, um, under the Narita, the, under the Japan Rail Pass are metro lines within cities. So Tokyo Metro doesn't count. Uh, and private railways. If you're going to go to Hakone and you're looking to go on the Bromance car on the Adaku line, that's not count. that doesn't count as well. So it's not every single line in the country. Uh, there are some exceptions. But if you're traveling around on the bullet train, it's definitely worth it to get it. Even if you're going back to, Ky to Kyoto and back within one week, you, it makes sense to get the Japan Rail Pass because you're breaking them. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So we're, the only problem is, I mean, we, we are now stuck in this massive queue uh, to pick up our JR pass. So what happens is you order your JR pass online, that little bit of paper that gets delivered to you is this little paper, bit of paper, this, that little bit of paper, this little bit of paper. <laughs> And then when you get to Japan, you actually have to go pick it up um, and you have to go to a JR counter to go get them and that's why we're here right now. It's a 45 minute line at the moment. Makes sense. It's the middle of cherry blossom season. A whole load of planes have just landed. So, I mean, it's obvious we were going to have to wait in a pretty long queue. It's fine though. 45 minutes? We go to Disney. We can do a 45 minute queue. Actually getting more close now. Um, these are the booths where they're going to be giving us our JR parcels. We hand them a bunch load of information. Uh, we were actually given a clipboard, some people are filling them out here. We're giving a clipboard uh, to fill out our passport information, names, dates we want our Japan Rail Pass to start. So we filled out all that information and then we're going to go over to one of these goofy things over there, hand it all over, and they'll just put a, they put a ticket in the sort of like leaflet thing that we filled out, and that will be our day on. So yeah, probably about 15 minutes to go. So just checking all the infos right now. And those are our tickets, the green the green ones, the sort of shallower green ones. You'll stick them in the JR pass. Express train uh, terminal to start the express start 10.48. The Tokyo station is 11.48. Yeah, that's okay. The station finished to deserve seat and put your main ticket. I love these little things over the ticket sense. This is the deserve ticket to the station. Yes. Yeah. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah. I took the full 45 minutes, I think, 50, 50 minutes, we might, we might have been doing that. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but we have them now, which is awesome. We are now going to get a next. You might have seen there that we got, after we picked up our JR passes, we asked if we could pick up our next tickets as well. Next is the Narita Express train, run by JR, um, which takes you from Narita to Tokyo Station. So this is the next counter, but you shouldn't need to go to it if, you, if you've got a JR pass. You should be able to just ask them to give you a ticket when you pick up your JR pass. Uh, and uh, that's what we did. So we're gonna go straight through to the platforms now. Uh, through this way, through the red lines, or through the, underneath the red, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> underneath the red sides. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, first time we're using it. <laughs> Forgot they do this. 
<laughs> the first time they you use your JR bars, they should stamp it for you. So the first time it's a bit interesting. But yeah, you saw there that Liam went round to the side. We didn't put our tickets inside the machine. We just need to flash a JR pass to the guard. So there should be guards manning every single entrance, every single ticket entrance at the station. Uh, you usually just have to go all the way to the left or all the way to the right. There'll be a guard booth there, and uh, then you can just show the JR pass, and that's it, really. Is it? I love this train. I love this train so much. Sorry, this is a bit of a bumpy journey, so the camera's going to be all over the place. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh. Um, but yeah, you can sign up to the free Wi-Fi. We've got on my fi device, so we don't need to. Um, but it's pretty cool that it's here. So the next is going to take about an hour to get to Tokyo. We just about survived. It was less than an hour, actually. It was like 15 minutes out. It's about an hour. Um, and uh, they announced in English, Chinese, Japanese, and a few other languages about the Tokyo is the next station. So you shouldn't need to worry too much about knowing any Japanese, you should just get on here and wait until they say. It's actually really helpful maps, uh, all big screens, all the way along the carriages as well. So it's pretty easy, you can't really mess it up too much. of our journey is going to be to catch a bullet train to Kanazawa uh, but in Tokyo Station there's actually one of my favorite restaurants in the whole world and some of you guys might know that Liam's vegetarian and so often when we travel together I will eat veggie but Japan is a bit hit and miss when it comes to vegetarian food. Uh, there is one place though here in uh, in Tokyo Station called Tea's Tan Tan Ramen which is a vegetarian restaurant which does sort of ramen-y small dishes and this kind of thing mostly ramen uh, hence the name Tea's Tan Tan Ramen. So we're going to stop in there <laughs> and have some ramen, replenish, uh, eat one of our favourite meals in the whole world before we continue with our journey uh, to Kanazawa. We're getting there. The Narita Express platform is so, so low down. Basement level five is kind of crazy. Um, we are now in basement one, I think, and uh, Liam knows exactly where to go to go to Tea's Tan Tan Ramen. I think he has a Tea's Tan Tan Ramen radar. Um, so I'm just gonna follow him and nom noms will be here soon. Tokyo Station is easily one of the most crowded stations in the world <laughs> and uh, one of the more complex as well. Not as complex as the Kibikuro, my god. Um, but yeah, just it's, it's gonna be a bit shocking I think for a lot of people to come here. Uh, even in London where we have so many train stations, I still find this place to be extremely daunting uh, and very, very complex. Here we go. It's still here. Oh, it's vegan. I forgot it's vegan. It's pretty popular. There's always a queue, but it's a ramen place. So people tend to eat pretty quickly. So this kind of queue, we won't be expected to wait too long. Uh, so this is the menu. They've got a lot of things sold out at the moment. Just a shame. Um, Liam reminded me I sometimes get this Midori Tan Tan, which is delicious, but it's sold out. So I will go for white sesame. What are you going for, Liam? Same. Oh, white sesame. And then down here, they explain about the sets that you can get. So if you get the A sets, you have like one ramen dish and then uh, with the fried dumplings, uh, or B set with fried soy meat, or uh, choose your favorite with C set. I may actually get two because I'm really hungry. I'm probably gonna regret that, but we'll see. It arrived, it arrived, it arrived. Mine arrived before Liam, sorry Liam. So that's the Shiro ramen, which is amazing. The smile curry, my favorite curry in the whole entire world. And this is sort of a meat bowl, but obviously this is a vegetarian vegan place here. So this is sort of a fake meat, like a soy wheat based meat. It's awesome. Oh my God. Oh my God, I forgot how good this was. I, I remembered it being really good. I forgot how good. It's very fresh. It's very proteiny because of the sesame and the peanuts that they use. Obviously, if you're vegetarian, definitely come here. Um, even if you're a meat eater, this place is awesome. Come to 
to the JR Shinkansen and JR Line tickets booth right here, uh, which is on the basement floor. Well, it's on the same floor that we were just at. Please stand, please stand my ramen. So we've come here to get tickets for reserved seats on the train that's going to take us up to Canada. I think that train is going to all the trains one of the trains that we want to get. We'll have free seating and reserved seating, but we like to get reserved seats, obviously, because we know that they're ours, and it's, we can definitely sit together, etc., etc. So if you want to get reserved seats and you've got a JR pass, you need to come to a counter with a person at it, not to one of the ticket machines. And so you show them your JR pass, uh, then you tell them what train that you want to get onto, then they'll give you your reserved seats, which should be for free. You shouldn't have to pay any money for them. If you try and get reserved seats at the um, at the machine, it will try and ask you to pay for payment obviously because you can't show your JR pass to a machine. You might be able to in the future though, who knows? But right now you can't. So if you want to get reserved seats, you've got to go to one of these counters. It can be a bit of a pain, because sometimes the queue can be really long. But actually the queue is super short right now, so I think we might be okay. Hi. Ah, so, arigatouzaimasu. Tokyo Station a little bit complex for getting the bullet trains. There are lots of different areas to get lots of different bullet trains. We want to take the Hokuriku Shinkansen to get to Kanazawa. So I don't think we can go in this one because this is just Hokkaido and Sanyo. So then we have to go around to the other side. So we've gone through the barriers uh, into the Hokuriku Shinkansen area. Sorry, it's like an announcement going on above me. You can see these uh, giant signs here which um, explain when the trains are going, what platforms they're going from, where they're going to. Usually they flash up with English. Oh look, there you go, that one has done. So you can see the English and the Japanese. We want that one on the left hand, on the right hand side, sorry, the 1324, uh, which in Japanese says Hakutaka 565. Uh, that's the train that we want, so we want track number 23. Really like this train information sign as well. This is amazing, look at this. So this is showing where the platform, where the, um, or the, or the cars of the train are going to be in uh, in comparison to the platform. Sorry, can't think of words at the moment, far too tired. Uh, but we are on that 13-24 one, uh, second up from the bottom, going to uh, the Hakutaka train. And so we should be able to find where we need to stand on the platform based on this. It'll be upstairs as well, but it's kind of cool to see it laid out like this. So it's a 12 car train, awesome. I came to sit in the waiting room just briefly because uh, I need to go to the ladies room. Liam was going to hang out here for a little bit. I've just come and joined him again. And I realised there's this really awesome thing on the wall. I don't know if I'm going to turn around and show you. I can't speak today. So they have some solar panels on the top of Tokyo Station. And they're telling you how much power they're outputting. Uh, what that's equivalent to. And then how it's being used throughout the station. That's amazing. I mean, it's a pretty overcast day today. So I guess it's kind of low. I guess that's some information about global warming. Isn't that so cool? This is just in the waiting room of the station. It's amazing. So look, there you go. The solar radiance going into the solar panels, generating power, and then um, powering things throughout Tokyo Station. Oh, I love it. That is really cool. Our train is here. It was here when we got up to the platform. This is it. I don't know the numbers of these trains. It's one of the blue and white ones. You can see over the other side, the green Shinkansen. I think these uh, shoot up north. So excited to get the train, so excited. Liam, are you excited to get the train? Yeah. There are, seats are in there. We have to line up in this queue. Love Japan for queuing. Queuing for everything. Queue for everything. That guy at the front will be first to get on and we're just lining up uh, uh, behind him. In between these two orange lines, which are for first departures, they have two sections here, the first departure and second departure. Uh, the orange lines are for first departure and you line up in, um, in the green section for second departure. That means the train that's going after this one, not like second class or anything. It's just the train that's going after this one. Our train's going first, so we're standing in the orange bit.
escalators you stand on the left. And except for in Osaka you stand on the right. So we're, but we've never been to Kamazawa before, so we don't know whether Kamazawa does it the Osaka way or the Tokyo way. Absolutely no idea. Anyway, we're off the train. Yes. Um, we've not been to the station before, as I just said. So we don't really know where we're going, but we're going to follow the signs to exit. There's an exit out of this station, I know, by looking at Google Maps Street View. Uh, there's an exit out of this station that has a giant modern Tory gate, sort of made out of wood or twisted around and stuff, and it seems like that's the exit that we need. I think it's called the Suzuki Mon, and uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to go out that way. And then I think we hang a left there to get to our hotel, that's what we're going to do now. Uh, go through the gate, showing the JR pass to the guys. Hi, Somas! Yeah! Okay, we got it! Kenokuren gate, the east gate. <laughs> yeah, this sounds about right. <gasps> there it is! <laughs> so you can see it, like, it's kind of weird Tory gate thing made out of wood. It looks redder in the photos, maybe it was very red at one point. <laughs> That's amazing! I've actually down into the underground shopping area. Oh, I love underground shopping areas. Oh, the desire, Liam, the desire. Yeah. This place is amazing, look at that. That's so cool. So that gate seems to start the roof. Past that gate, there is no roof. And, uh, but this is really cool. Anyway, we're gonna go have a look at this properly another day. We're actually gonna go this way. Liam said is the right way for us to go to get to our hotel. And we're staying at the Dormy Inn. Oh, I love it so much, it's so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, end of the hallway room. Let's go. <gasps> Door me in, door me in. Thank you. Got it. Oh gosh, we've got a corridor. Mm. This is fancy for a door me in. This is very fancy. Oh, I love door me in. Oh, oh, I love it already. Door me in is a hotel chain here in Japan. Um, it's a business hotel chain. Oh, very bright. It's a business hotel chain. And um, that means it's kind of cheap, but very, very clean. I love business hotels. They're cheap hotel rooms, usually very small. They have all the amenities that you need just to stay, especially for a city break. And they're very, very clean. So Dormy and I love, we love it for a couple of reasons. First of all, generally it's a nice reliable hotel room um, and hotel chain, but also because they have onsen. They usually always have an onsen on the top floor. And so that's why we stay here. Anyway, let me give you a quick room tour. So this is a bathroom. Mm -mm -mm. Oh wait, toilet, yes, toilet needs to put this time for the toilet. So yes, yeah, so we just have a toilet in here and a stand-up shower. Actually, we're probably not going to use a stand-up shower that much because we'll probably go to the onsen. So that's the bathroom just here. And uh, we've got a little place to hang up clothes and stuff. Cute, probably won't use it, but it's there. <laughs> Ta-da, hello. Um, this is the washlet area. Awesome. Oh, we've actually got a little fridge underneath. I wonder what's in it. A uh, little teapot, but little fridge. Oh, there's nothing. Awesome. So you can put all your own stuff in there. That's good if you're traveling with people who have special diets and they need to store stuff in a fridge. A uh, big long desk. This is our bed. In business hotel, I usually find the bed is right up against one of the walls and only one person gets a, um, a bedside table. So it's kind of awesome that both of us get a bedside table. And we've even got space in this room for a little chair as well we've made it so this is the end of the travel vlog i'm probably going to say goodbye now thank you so much if you stuck with us through our um train <laughs> we do what would we do a train to heathrow airport the heathrow express to heathrow airport fly over to uh, helsinki flight over to japan the next train into tokyo station stopping in for ramen and then getting the bullet train here to kanazawa it was a long journey it's been quite a number of hours um but it's been super fun and we are now going to go and enjoy the onsen upstairs on the 14th floor of our hotel before popping out this evening to have a beer so anyway i'm gonna say thank you so much uh please come back to the channel i think in a three or four days time i'll upload another one of these videos for of our journeys around kanazawa so i hope you'll pop in and see that um yeah i'll see you see you back another time okay thanks everyone bye for hidden doors hidden uh staircases hidden alleys everywhere stretch for ages it's awesome i love moss all together this is going to be a phenomenal castle oh six and the restaurant is already full this is my avocado and egg burger am i going to need to get a basket i think i might need to get a basket i think i might need to get a basket